your dog maybe at the elbow or the point of the hip and you're seeing something on the skin that is not quite right and you're like, what is this thing? Is it maybe something called a hygroma? Maybe you've Googled hygroma and you're wondering if that's what this thing is or is it something called a pressure sore? And how do you tell the difference between the two? Super simple, okay? So hygromas form under the skin. Easy, right? It's a fluid filled pocket, it's under the skin, and it's usually covered with hair. Now, if a hygroma is very, very big or broken open, it can get a little confusing, uh, and you may need to talk to your veterinarian, but if it's just a normal small hygroma, it'll feel like a squishy, fluidy bump that is underneath the skin, could be you know, as big of a, as a golf ball, I've seen them big as tennis balls, but oftentimes they still have hair on them and they feel like a fluid filled pocket underneath the skin. A pressure sore on the other hand is an ulceration in the surface of the skin. These pressure sores are always open, they're always red, they are usually weeping. They often have crusts around the edges of them. They're pretty gross, they're angry, they're weepy. The confusing thing is, is they form in the same place as a hygroma on the point of the elbow, on the point of the hip. But those things are always open and weeping. weeping. Um, bottom line is, if you have any kind of open or weeping sore on any bony prominence of your dog, then you need to see your local veterinarian for some help. But that, hopefully those tips are helpful to help you determine whether you're dealing with a hygroma or if you're dealing with a pressure sore.